Hey guys, welcome to Our Space in Your Space. I'm Jess, and today we have a flow designed to help support your immune system when you might be feeling a little under the weather. For today's practice, grab something comfy to wear, your yoga mat, and let's do this. All right, so when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and get started in a nice, comfortable seated position finding your way down to the ground and just giving yourself a second to settle into the shape, moving around here so you can find those sits bones on the ground. Sitting crisscross applesauce if that feels nice. And if the knees are, you know, if you're living in a tight body today, sometimes when we're sick, things start to close up. So you might feel a little bit tighter or more restrained than you normally do. One of the first things I'm gonna invite you to do is make sure that you're meeting your body where it's at. Very likely today's practice might look and feel a lot different than you're used to. We're here to support our body, work through whatever it is on the inside that has us feeling down. And the most important part of doing that is to not force anything, but just spend some time listening and reflecting as to how the body is responding to movement, listening to the sensations. So as you start to settle in here, go ahead and close your eyes if you haven't already. As you start to find a nice tall, long spine, noticing already where the body might be speaking to you. Settle in here into your breath. And before we get started today, I'm gonna to invite you to bring your pointer finger and your middle finger just to your face, giving yourself just a moment to give a little massage here underneath the eyes, lifting up, gently pressing on the bone that frames the eye, opening up the sinuses here, coming up to the temples, maybe giving yourself a little rub clockwise and counterclockwise into the temples. Trying to take a nice deep breath in through the nose pressing up through the nose bone, coming into the center of the forehead, pressing through the forehead as if you're pushing away any extra pressure, any extra inflammation, bringing yourself back to the nose, pressing through the bone, coming through the eyebrows, to the center of the forehead, and just pressing all that to the outside, allowing in assisting the body and draining any extra fluid, any extra buildup. Beautiful. Releasing the hands back down to the lap, keeping the eyes closed here if it serves you. Just starting to find a little rotation into the neck, taking nice big neck circles. Doesn't matter which way you start here. Just once again, listening, breathing, slowing down taking it in the opposite direction to which you started, letting the chin fall into the chest and really just enjoying this subtle movement, looking to keep the spine as long as we can, knees drawing down to the earth, rooted through the sit bones, letting the weight of gravity just open up the knees, pressing them down to the ground here. Nice job that right ear over to the right shoulder and an inhale raise the right arm all the way up to the sky and as you exhale bend that elbow bring that hand to the left ear gently start to put a little pressure or resistance onto the left side of the head feeling the left side of the neck open up from the back side all the way down to the shoulder breathing here settling in Letting go of any expectations, any judgment towards yourself, your body, the way that you're feeling. Just kind of being here in support of your body, moving extremely mindfully, putting intention behind each breath. On that next inhale, we'll lift that right arm back up, head comes to neutral. As you exhale, right hand rains back down to the left taking it to the other side. Inhale, left arm reaches all the way up. As we exhale, left ear, left shoulder, 
handprint comes to the right ear, and we settle in on this side. Finding that gentle resistance, hand to the face, still staying nice and long within your spine, drawing the navel back to support the length of the back. Shoulders draw down and away, making the head find the movement to ear to shoulder. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. One more just like that. Nice job. Inhale, left arm reaches to the sky. And as you exhale, left hand floats all the way down to the lap. Inhale, right arm is going to go up overhead. As you exhale, bend the elbow, tuck the chin to the chest, open up the right hand print and place it in between the shoulder blades. Swim the left arm behind you. This hand, palm is going to face out back of the hand to the spine. And if your fingers can touch, go ahead and interlace that first knuckle. Find a little opposite pull and push here, lifting in opposite directions. Once you do, go ahead and lift the head back to neutral pressing the elbows back. And if you can't get the grip within the fingerprints, that's perfectly fine. Just press right palm into the back and the back of left hand into the spine as well. Both elbows pull back to open up through the chest. Noticing here how maybe the knees want to crawl up as we start to layer on. So just keep that mindfulness, grounding the legs into the earth, breathing deep, opening up through the chest, maybe adopting a mantra in your practice that you are healthy, I am healing, I am capable. On an inhale breath, right arm will reach to the sky and as you exhale, it rains down this time to the ground, palm down, fingertips point away. Inhale, unravel that left arm, reach it all the way up overhead and as you exhale, slowly start to bend the right elbow coming into a side body stretch rolling the shoulder back looking up past the bicep keep pressing that left knee into the ground as you inhale bend the elbow open up the chest as you squeeze your shoulder blades together now as you exhale reaching that left arm towards the front edge of your mat squaring off the shoulders look down to the back Inhale, open back up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, pull left elbow back. Exhale, rotate to the side, reach the left arm. Now from here, inhale, roll that left shoulder back, open back into that side body stretch. Get one more big reach for me. Inhale, come all the way back up, left arm can stay overhead as you exhale, the elbow bends. Chin to chest, palm to the middle of the spine. Swim the right hand behind you, back of the hand to the spine, palm faces out. Inhale, breath, lift the head, elbows push back. Exhale, settle into the sit bones. Close your eyes and breathe. Listening to all the sensations within the body not labeling anything good or bad, just recognizing that this is a moment in time that our body needs us to just support with grace and compassion, knowing that our body is able and capable of healing itself. We just need to realign and sink Inhale that left arm up to the sky. As you exhale, rain the hand right back down to the ground. Inhale, right arm reaches up to the sky. Exhale, elbow bends, right arm reaches overhead. Side body stretch, anchoring down through the right side body, rolling that right shoulder back. Look past the bicep as you reach the fingertips overhead, stretching from your hip to your finger. Inhale, bends the elbow, opens the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, turn to the back side of the mat, square the shoulders as best as you can to your yoga mat, reach through those fingertips. 
Inhale, open all the way back up. Take as big a breath as you possibly can. And as you exhale, slowly rotate, take it forward. Inhale, roll the shoulder back, come back into your side body stretch. Get one more reach through those fingers. Inhale, come back up through center, bring both fingertips to kiss overhead. And as you exhale, bend the elbows. Find that field goal pose with the arms. Lift the heart up to the sky. Squeeze the shoulder blades as they come down and back. Inhale, breath, reach all the way up overhead. Exhale, rain them all the way back down. Nice job. Taking the legs out in front of us here. Feel free to move slowly. Undoing the legs might be a little sore here today. Feel free to pedal them out a little bit. Ending with left leg straight, right knee bent, left right foot comes up and over left leg. Pinky toes on the outside of that knee. Swimming the right hand behind you, stay lifted on your fingerprints, point the fingertips behind you, stay nice and tall in the spine. Flex the left toes back to you, towards your face, and as you inhale, reach the left arm up to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right, either hooking the elbow to the outside of that knee, or maybe just taking the elbow crease to the knee today, especially here early on in your practice. Take it a little bit more restorative coming into your first twist. Inhale, we lengthen through the center of the crown. Exhale, we deepen by looking past that back shoulder, taking it a little bit deeper. Imagining we're wringing out the body, eliminating any sickness, anything that's not serving us. Coming all the way back to center, swapping out the legs. Right leg's gonna straighten left leg bends. Once again, if you're living in a really tight body, it might be difficult to pull that leg far in before you get a, a very loud sensation. So feel free to walk the foot closer down to the calf, finding a space that works for this body today. Swim the left hand behind you, coming onto your fingertips. Inhale to lengthen, right arm reaches to the sky. Exhale, take your twist, elbow to knee, or elbow crease, hugs the leg in. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, twist it out. Just like that again. Fantastic. One more, just like that. Deepest breath you can do today. It might not be your deepest breath or what you're usually used to, but take as deep as we can Exhale, let it all go. Nice job bringing yourself all the way back through center. Uncoil the legs, taking it to all fours. Coming on to the hands, making sure that the wrists are stacked directly underneath the shoulder points, knees directly underneath the hips, top of the feet flat to the ground. Inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly, roll through the spine as you look up to the sky, Cow. Exhale, press into the feet, tuck the tailbone first, wave the spine, find that arch, chin to chest, cat pose. Bring everything back here to your breath. So if the mind is still on thinking about everything except this moment, let this serve as a pause to bring yourself back to right here, to right now to what you feel, to your breath. Close your eyes and go inside. You're more than welcome to find any organic movement here that serves you. Maybe making some nice big circles. Our lymphatic system loves circles, so finding some movement here will support any extra drainage that needs to happen. Nice job. Coming back into your neutral spine when you're ready, walking the handprints out from underneath the shoulders, taking it back into puppy pose. So booty's gonna stay high. We're gonna drop our heart to the mat. 
you might start to feel some sensations inside the shoulders. There might be a little shaking, a little twingling there. Just breathe, drawing the navel up to the spine. So hips are lifting like we're in down dog here, but chest is melting to the ground, getting our heart as close to the earth, and we're looking towards our thumb. So we're not tucking the chin to the chest here, we're actually looking out once again, if there were to be connection, it would be chest to thigh in center of the heart space to the ground. Nice job. Inhale, breath slowly start to come back up. Shift the weight forward. Tuck the toes underneath you. And on an inhale, lift your hips all the way up to the sky, downward facing dog. So when you come into down dog, take a second just to pedal it out. Move one leg, then the other. Bending one knee, coming into the opposite calf. Getting any of those little wiggles out here that really just support whatever your body needs here today. This is your time to explore and just move with your breath. Taking a moment or two in down dog just to breathe. Legs are hip distance apart. Internal rotation of the legs, activating the quads by Lifting up those kneecaps here, feeling a great stretch in the whole back side of the body. Inhale, breath, look forward, step the right foot in between your hands, left leg stays up, coming into a low lunge. Hands frame that front foot. As you inhale, get nice and long in your spine, pressing through that back heel, all the way out through the crown. Beautiful strength here as you inhale, come all the way up, crescent lunge, pressing through that back heel, inner thighs squeeze together for support. Inhale, hands come through center. Exhale, twist to the right, open up the arms, hug the right hip in, squeeze the shoulder blades, pull the arms back. Now inhale, right arm is gonna go all the way down to come up with the left, open up warrior two. Sink in, you can do it. Front knee is stacked over front ankle, Front heel intersects with the back arch. Palms face down, shoulders roll back. Flip that front hand. Inhale, take it forward as you exhale, reverse warrior. Left arm just graces the leg, we're not leaning into it. Find that reach through right fingers. Inhale, reach. Exhale, float, extended side angle. Right elbow, right thigh. Left arm reaches overhead. Rolling that left shoulder back once again, finding that gorgeous line from your heel all the way out through your fingertips. No collapsing your weight. See if you can lift your arm up. Fantastic. Take that left arm all the way down. Come off the back heel. Plant the palm inside right foot as you inhale. Twist to the right. Hug that right hip in. Reach the right arm all the way up to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes down to the mat, frame the feet. Go ahead and bend that back leg, find a little movement to step the back foot up to meet your front forward fold. Inhale, breath, chair pose, hips go back, arms reach all the way up overhead. Weight is in the heels. It's okay to be a little higher in your chair today, but find where you can take it. Inhale, hands come to heart center, Exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow comes to the outside of left knee. Press into the leg. Hand prints press into one another. Exhale, come all the way back. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Let the head get heavy. This might be a little difficult, especially if you have some congestion. You might start to feel some drainage here. Maybe have a box of Kleenex next to you, but just let the body release. Pressing into the four corners of your feet, take an inhale, come all the way back up to stand, reach the fingertips overhead. Exhale, swan dive back in, lead with your heart forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Nice job, step the right foot back, leave that left leg there. Come into your low lunge on this side. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, just gently on the fingertips. Prep your strength here to take it all the way up. 
Inhale, crescent lunge, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Twist to the left, open up here, reach front and back, hug the left hip into center. Nice job. Left hand is gonna come all the way down to go up. Warrior two as we open up on the exhale. Inhale, slip the front hand, torso forward. Collect all of that energy as you bring it into reverse warrior. Left knee forward, left fingertips back. Reach. Exhale, extended side angle. Elbow to thigh, reach the right arm overhead. Connect ankle bone to fingertips. No weight in left elbow. Inhale, hold. Exhale, right hand cartwheels to the mat. Come off the back heel. Inhale, turn to the left. Reach left arm to the sky. Press through that back right leg, nice and strong. Exhale, left hand plank comes down. Stepping in that right foot just a little bit. Rock and roll, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Arms overhead, weight in the heels, navel to spine. Inhale, hands come to heart center. Exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow hooks, right knee. Legs stay hip distance apart, inner thigh strength here. Don't let your knees buckle into center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root down, rise up, come all the way back up to stand. Handprints kiss overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer. Take a second, bring the thumbs to your chest, close your eyes, breathe. Chances are we got your heart rate up there just a little bit. Embrace that. There's nothing wrong with getting the blood moving. Keeping an eye on it, if it's something of concern to you, is recommended. But if not, just remember you can use your breath to bring the heart rate back down if you're a little uncomfortable with it being high. Hands are gonna to release to the side and we're gonna take our yoga mat the long way, taking a nice wide stance here. Toes point out, heels are in. Inhale, breath, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, lead with your heart. Take your time, coming all the way down at the last moment. Let the head dangle here. Really just ultimately surrender. Let the head grow heavy acting as if it's a natural, organic weight, letting all that we don't need that's not serving us just roll off our shoulders here. Now, if inversions are in your practice and you would like to take it upside down, it is one of the greatest ways to shift the energy cycle within the body. You're welcome to find your hands coming onto like a tripod supporting your body coming up into a headstand, slowly bringing your legs all the way up, keeping control. If this is too much, please just stay in your forward fold. Feel free to take a halfway lift at any point in time that you need to lift your head above your heart, coming back down when you're ready. If you're playing in your hand headstand, just maybe stay there for four or five breaths not staying upside down too long, but also once again, getting the benefits of that inversion. Once we find the ground, once again, we'll all inhale, take your time. Hands can come to the hips as you lift the torso all the way back up, heel toe the feet closer in together. Nice job taking it back to the front side of the mat. Inhale, breath all the way up with the handprints. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, step back, plank pose. Option to drop onto the knees today, especially if the strength isn't there for you today to do a full plank pose. Slowly lowering yourself all the way down to the ground. 
handprints underneath the shoulders, tops of the feet touch the ground. Inhale, find cobra. Breathe here. Inhale, pose. Exhale, lower to the ground. Nice job. We're gonna release the hands back behind us. Give yourself a moment here. Just lay down on the belly. Turn the head. Bring one side of the face to the yoga mat. Palms face up. Let your legs just go. And or feel free to windshield wipe by the legs a little side to side if that helps relieve any tension that you might have in the low back. Mm. Nice, bringing the head back to neutral. We're gonna go ahead and grab onto the outsides of our ankles here, coming into bow pose. Taking a nice, beautiful, big inhale breath. Lift the legs, kick your hands into your feet and lift, or I'm sorry, your feet into your hands. Start to lift your thighs off the ground. And maybe this is too much for you today. So maybe you leave one hand on the ground bringing yourself up into a more modified position, only doing one leg at a time. There's nothing wrong with taking a modification if that's where your body needs you to be today. If you're in full bow pose, take one more big inhale breath, lift all the way up, exhale, lower down with control, turn the head to the side, lay down, breathe recover. Give yourself a second here of either stillness or maybe windshield wiper the legs side to side, allowing for your intuition to decide exactly what you need. Nothing more, nothing less. Turning your head back to neutral, taking that one more time. So if you did do the one leg, you want to make sure we even it out here and take it on to the other side. If you're going once again to full bow, you're grabbing the outside of the ankles. Legs can kind of come out wide for the grip, but bring them back about hip distance apart. Inhale, breath, start to lift up, kick the feet into the hands. Feel the low back turn on, open up through your chest as the shoulders pull back and expand the front side of the body. Breathe here. Yes, you can. Nice and easy. One more, just like that. Fantastic. Slowly lowering down with control, turning the head to the opposite side, and bringing the arms out into like a T shape. Bending that right knee, we're slowly just going to twist taking the right leg over to the left, maybe the big toe finds the ground behind the left leg. Take a few deep breaths here. Bringing yourself back through center, turn the head to the opposite direction. Left leg is gonna bend, come back behind you, open up and twist. This is a great practice for nice, deep cleansing breaths. Practicing with your eyes closed if you can. And just trusting that you know what your body needs to heal. Coming all the way back through center, bringing your handprints underneath your shoulders and just gently pushing yourself up and back, fighting child's pose letting the torso drape over the thighs, reaching the arms overhead. Yogi's choice here, arms can either stay out in front of you or for a little bit more restorative posture here, hands can come behind you, palms face up, just letting the shoulders pull towards the ground and breathe. All the hard work is done. Feel that pressure in the center of the forehead. If the ground isn't meeting you today, you can also 
bring fists underneath the forehead, really just giving that pressure point of the center of the forehead, something to press into, grounding you here, but also helping release any extra pressure in the face and the sinuses by just pressing and releasing. Nice job. We're going to slowly come to sit onto the heels. Take your time to get there. And when you do, we're going to come all the way up onto our knees. Open up the legs, hip distance apart. Take a look behind you. Make sure you have two even playing fields here and that you're not coming in together. Hands are going to come to the low back, but not on the spine. Framing and point the fingertips down. As you inhale, lift up through the center of the chest, start to look up to the sky. And as you exhale, drop your head behind you. Each inhale lifts up through the chest. Each exhale has us go looking a little further back. One more just like that. Inhale, breath comes all the way back up. Take your time, open up the feet here. And if you can, have a seat right in between your heels. Now, if this is too much for your knees, you're welcome to sit back on your heels like we were before. Bring your hands behind you and just let yourself fall back onto your hands. Maybe move the neck a little side to side or a couple more of those neck circles. Just like a little bit of tension that maybe crept up during that last posture. We're gonna go ahead and do that one more time. So as we inhale, give the wrist a little swirl here as you come off of them, come back onto the knees, bring those legs back hip distance between knees as well as the ankles. Hands will start on your backside, but we might reach down to our heels this time if it's in your ability. As you inhale, lift up through that chest, Exhale, drop the head, look back. Maybe you find one ankle, maybe you find two. Open up your throat, open up your chest, break up all of that gunk that's inside there. Breathe. Again. One more. Hands come back to support, coming all the way back up. Take your time. This time as you come to sit down, kick the legs out to the side, have a seat and take the legs all the way out in front of you. Find the center of your mat, flexing the feet back towards your face as you inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky, as you exhale, gently forward fold. Feel free to bend the knees a little bit here in support of the low back, and then start to reach towards your feet. Let the head just fall, finding that weight once again, in the crown of the head, helping open up the low back. Let this just be an ultimate surrender where you just allow yourself to be here, knowing that whatever it is that your body's working through, this too shall pass. Your body will be back in tip-top shape in no time. Just learning how to navigate this storm, once again with ease and surrender, and a little side of faith. Walk your handprints all the way back up. Extend the legs out once again in front of you, coming down onto the elbows and drop the head behind you. Pointing through the toes, opening the chest once again. So lots of opening into the chest area. A lot of times when we're sick, that's one of the first areas we close off. We round the spine around our shoulders. You want to open that space up, 
imagine that by doing so, we're breaking up any of that germs, that virus that has us feeling a little under the weather. Embrace that. Take your time as you inhale, lift your head back up. Be careful. As you exhale, come all the way down onto your back. Inhale, breath is going to bring your knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big hug here. Squeeze the legs. Breathe here. Uncoiling the spine, trying to get back as flat to the ground as you possibly can. Trying to keep that tailbone connected to the earth as you squeeze the legs in. As you inhale, Lift the upper body, bring your nose to kiss your knees, drawing yourself into this compact little ball right here. As you exhale, release the feet, keep the knees bent, let the upper body come down as well. Hands are going to come alongside the body, palms facing down, walking the shoulder blades out a little bit here, just making sure you have a nice flat back. Taking it into bridge pose, walking your heels as close to your glutes as you can, maybe just bracing with your fingertips and keeping equal distance at the hips, the knees, and the ankles. On an inhale breath, press into the feet, start to lift the hip points nice and high. Imagining that with each inhale, the hips are lifting up a little bit more Feeling the glutes contract, pressing firmly into the feet. Exhale, slowly come all the way down. Bringing the arms out into your field bowl post here. So open palms to the sky. Inhale, knees come up. Exhale, drop the legs over to the left. Turn to look past the right shoulder. Trying to keep both shoulders as close to the ground as you can. Just depends on what level of mobility you have today. You might have that right arm up a little bit. If you need to get a little bit deeper into the back, feel free to grab onto your top leg with left hand, pressing the right shoulder into the ground, getting a little deeper twist into that mid back region. Use your core here for support as you inhale, come through center with those knees. Exhale, plant the feet down to the ground. Bring your hips back to the center of the mat. If they moved on you, handprints are gonna come back alongside the body. Round two for bridge, prepare yourself here. When you're ready, take a big inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips nice and high. And all right. So being that this is a more restorative bridge, we're just looking to create a nice diagonal line from the knees to the chest. We're not necessarily taking a variation of lifting our heels or a leg or anything too crazy today. Just slowly starting to get movement into the body. Nothing that is groundbreaking necessarily. And on an exhale, slowly lowering all the way back down. Inhale, knees up, arms field goal. Exhale, take it over to the right. Take the look over to the left shoulder, past the arm. Settle that left shoulder in. And breathe. Just let yourself rinse out right here. Smile. Sometimes it can be hard to find gratitude for our body and ourself when we feel this way, but it's important to show even more gratitude that your body is fighting for you and you are helping it and you are going to be healthy in no time. As you inhale, slowly come all the way back through center, dropping the feet down to the ground, bringing your hands back alongside you. Now we're going to do legs on the wall here. So if you are close to a wall and you'd like to scoot your yoga mat over, you're welcome to. If you're in more of an open air space like I am, we're just going to take the legs up using our hands behind the legs to support holding the legs up. Or if you want to use a little bit more core, 
hands can come next to you. You can bring a soft bend into the knees, keeping the legs lifted with the spine is flat to the ground, tailbone stays connected. Feet don't have to be doing anything too crazy. In fact, you're welcome to find a little movement in the ankles. You know, sometimes dealing with body aches, if that is one of your symptoms, unfortunately, it can show up in some strange places like our joints. So your ankles, your wrists, these might be places within the body that you are feeling sensations or soreness that you haven't before. So taking care of some of these smaller parts of our body when we find movement is just as important as moving the bigger parts. So a little pointing, a little flexing, a little ankle roll. You might start to feel some of the blood dripping down or changing direction here in the legs. That's what we're looking for, supporting our heart giving it a little bit of a break here from having to pump the blood all the way down to our toes and sending it back home to the heart with a little help. Legs on the wall is an incredible posture to just shift your energy if you're feeling anxious or overwhelmed. This is a really great way to kind of short circuit that thought process so you can do it just about anywhere, <laughs> any time of the day. Nice job. Slowly bringing the legs down, soles of the feet are gonna find themselves together as the knees go nice and wide. Taking a nice wide opening of the front side of the body here, finding reclined butterfly posture. You might feel this within the hips here if you need to keep your hands underneath the legs to support and then when you're comfortable letting gravity just open you up. You also can draw your feet a little closer to the end of your yoga mat making more of a diamond to keep this more restorative. Opposite obviously for a little deeper stretch draw the heels closer in to the body. Bringing your left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly, closing the eyes if we're not there already. And just taking these last couple of moments here, thanking yourself for the ability to find time for this quick little flow, repeating that mantra, I am healthy, I am healing, I am capable. Remembering that what we think we become, making sure especially when we're sick, that we're fueling our mind with positivity as our body will reap the rewards and it will feed off of that. The same goes for negativity, unfortunately. So instead of talking or thinking about how awful you feel and how terrible and awful it is, try to short circuit those thoughts and interject them with more positive affirmations. Even if you don't fully believe them just yet, continue repeating them to yourself over and over again until you start to notice them as your truth. When you're ready, we're just going to take our legs out nice and long, taking up space on the whole mat. You're welcome to bring a blanket a pillow, maybe put your socks back on, your sweatshirt, if you shed a couple of layers here during your practice. Coming into your final savasana. If you need to prop your head up here, laying flat on the ground and supporting what you have going on in the sinuses, again, make yourself comfortable in this shape so that you can stay here as long as you can understanding that now more than ever the body is reaping the reward of your movement your mindfulness and your intentional breathing working so very hard from the inside out to repair and to renew each and every cell such an amazing miracle that is you
together the prayer, taking the thumb to the center of the forehead, repeating and solidifying, I am healthy, I am healing, I am capable. Sending all the healing and love and light from me to you. Namaste, my